morning, O King Herod the Mighty, fount of all wisdom, master of my destiny, before whom I am as the wheat beneath the scythe, O holy son, from yes, whence... Yes, all right, Kenneth, if you can dispense with the formalities. As you wish, sire. How can I be of assistance? Well, I've just had a rather odd dinner with uh, three wise men who are passing through. Oh, yes? And who would they be? I don't think they gave their names. They just introduced themselves as three wise men. Hmm. Slightly cocky. I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> They said something rather worrying. Now, we were talking about uh, this and that, and I I happened to notice they had quite a lot of myrrh with them. And you know how I like myrrh. Oh, yes, man. You're you're a (laughs) myrrhaholic. I really am. So, I... You know, hinted I'd quite like a bit of myrrh. And uh, this chap said he was sorry, but it was a present for someone. And uh, anyway, cut a long story short, it turns out that they're all going to see a baby who's about to be born in a stable and will be king of the Jews. Ah. And I'm the king of Judea. Indeed you are. Which is only some of the Jews. So uh, this kid will technically outrank me. Well, <laughs> if it happened. Hmm. It doesn't seem very likely, to be honest. Once again, I'd point out you only have these men's word for it, they are, in fact, wise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I really don't think he's anything to worry about. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to kill all the boys in Bethlehem under two years of age. <laughs> Well, that's one way we could go, yes. <laughs> so the, the, the first thing we're going to need is quite a lot of men with swords. I'm sorry, uh, uh, can I just recap? Mm-hmm. Um, there's one baby being born who might one day uh, be king of the Jews, mm-hmm. so we should kill all the baby boys in Bethlehem. Yes. And we're not worried that might be a bit of an overreaction. <laughs> Well, I mean, we don't know what the baby will look like, do we? No, no, good point. Uh, do we think it will look like a two-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't be too careful. Mm. Uh, yeah, I just wonder, uh, Sire, if there's a slightly less infanticidal solution to the problem, <laughs> uh, like maybe sending a few soldiers to check out all the stables. Now, I see where you're coming from, but um, I think I'll stick with killing all the babies. It's just easier. I'm, I'm not sure it will be easier, actually. I, I wouldn't be surprised if people were really quite cheeky about hiding their sons or, or running away from Bethlehem. I mean, they all worship you, uh, O hmm. Great King, but you know how funny mothers get. <laughs> and, uh, it, it occurs to me that if we do kill all the babies, uh, but the particular one we want slips through the net and escapes to Egypt or somewhere, we're going to be left with pretty red faces. And a lot of dead babies. <laughs> it's going to be something of a public relations nightmare. Right, I, I, I understand all that, but I really think I need to go with my gut instinct on this one. I mean, King of the Jews, that would be really annoying. OK. <laughs> OK. As it happens, O King, uh, the wife and I live in Bethlehem. Oh, yes. Mm, and strangely enough, uh, we have a little boy ourselves. Oh, really? How old is he? 18 months. <laughs> oh, dear, I am sorry. Yes. Uh, The thing is, I'm reasonably certain he's not the king of the Jews. (laughs) And I'm absolutely certain he's not going to be born in a stable in the near future. (laughs) No, I believe you. Of course I do. But we can't be seen to be making exceptions. That would make us very unpopular. You know... (laughs) I can't help wondering, sire, if this is actually less to do with the possible threat of a possible king of the Jews that some nameless wise men told you about, and more to do with getting back at me for beating you in that chariot race. (laughs) Well, I couldn't possibly comment, but maybe next time you'll remember who's the sodding king. (laughs) 